Well, Minister of Petroleum Resources, Ibe Kachiku, says the federal government can now tell the exact quantity of barrels of crude oil produced in the country and when it is produced. He spoke at the tour of the Crude Oil and Energy Tracking to Final Destination Command Center at DPR head office in Lagos. We have details in this report. Transparency and accountability remains critical to the growth of any country's extractive industry. For a long while, operators and regulators in Nigeria's oil and gas sector have observed irregularities in the movement of some of the vessels mandated to leave crude oil from Nigeria. To address this imbalance, the Department of Petroleum Resources has inaugurated a command center that tracks the quantity of crude oil and LNG to its final destination. For computer-based applications, which enable us one to track uh, volumes of uh, crude produced from various terminals, and how does those those, uh, that, those volumes of those products move? Whether it's been to a vessel, what destination those vessels are going to through a vessel tracking mechanism, um, so that at any given point in time, on a real-time basis, we can tell what the country has produced for the very first time in the history of this country. We're also able, for the very first time in the history of this country, to tell you where those products have gone in terms of export, and be able to see whether they discharge in those exports. Uh, we'll also be able to say uh, the, on a forensic basis whether there are some suspicious movements of some of those vessels after they have products in them. We've also extended it to the downstream sector to be able to capture everything that is brought into this country in terms of um, a product importation for refined products and also be able to track how they are distributed within the country. So for the first time, uh, we have a holistic uh, database, uh, IT-based um, uh, application that enables us to do that. The minister adds that as part of efforts aimed at changing operations in the sector, the federal government is working with the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission to track vessels lifting crude from the country. In all of this, a proper legislation for the sector is also important. These laws are fine and we need them for certainty and for predictability for the industry. But ultimately, laws are as good as they executed. Uh, and so what we've tried to do is within the existing parameters of the law, continue. Take the, take the early renewal, for example. We could have stayed on the old fees and get, got maybe 30 percent of what we've got in today. But we, we, we improved on that, worked with the oil company, dealt with the objections and just kept moving. You know, so every we could have left the tracking mechanism until there's a law we've continued to track uh, because this, the, the issues are the issues. What the law does is to address the issues. Uh, but I won't say that this has um, negated the need for uh, proper documentary law. There's so, so much limit to which a minister can exercise discretion or regulatory uh, efficiency. It's got to be backed by law uh, for predictability. So th that effort uh, that the Assembly is doing, everybody is doing, is excellent, will we'll continue. The objective of this project is to provide an online platform to accurately monitor national crude oil production and exports through a system that ensures accurate reporting of production figures and export data. <laughs>